G'day guys, welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to this week's uh, little bit of a review and overview video on a uh, fantastic new 13 inch thicknesser with a deluxe spiral head from uh, the Sherwood brand that you can purchase at Timbercon um, Woodworking Supply Store. Um, I believe this may be one of the first uh, in the world that's manufactured to have a dedicated spiral head uh, so there's no aftermarket replacement. Uh, this, this retails for around about 1100 Australian dollars and um, from the looks of it, it looks so easy to put together. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Taking a look uh, out of the bag, out of the box, we get our uh, owner's manual, Sherwood. Uh, I'll open that for you in a second. Uh, we have our crank handle here and also a bolt which goes through here and that then gets screwed down to the sicknesser also have a cap this goes on top and encloses that little bit of a casing got two uh, sort of multi-purpose uh, hex type spanners here this is great they, they, they uh, will go on board storage and uh, that's really handy because it's very easy to misplace things like this. So that's great. Also got a, uh, an Allen key here. That's to tighten down the bolt there. Fantastic. Uh, I believe these are the screws or the bolts that uh, go into the dust chute to hold that into place. Speaking of the dust chute, here we have the dust chute. Uh, it's not a four inch fitting on this one compared to the old one I have. So I, I believe I'll have to uh, just work on maybe having an adapter uh, that will be suited best for that. But I'm sure I have something around to uh, be able to work with that. As well as that, this is, a, this is something fantastic. Um, some replacement carbide inserts. So uh, I think there's about half a dozen in here. Um, and I, I tell you what, for the times that you may uh, chip one or, you know, have some damage to one, this is handy to have a couple of replacements. I'm not sure how much a full set costs to replace, but um, I'll, I'll look into that. Um, but it's a good starting point here. So, as you can see, we have the owner's manual. Uh, they're pretty, pretty thin, but there's not too much to go wrong here. Uh, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. There's only a few key components that you have to recognise. Um, I, I think most importantly, you read the safety features and instructions. Uh, the rest is pretty self-evident. And uh, you'll see in the setup uh, how easy this is. Let's set it up. All right, so here's our crank handle. This will adjust the height up and down. It locates uh, in, as you'll see in a second, should, there you go, that drops down there. And, um, we have our screw uh, bolt here, just uh, find that centre, there we go, easy start, slowly tighten it down, when you feel the pressure getting, there we go, starting to take, and just nip it up, don't have to over tighten these things, and here's your little cap that goes, pops in there. Beautiful. All right, so clockwise direction to feed the, uh, lift the whole cutter head up and opposite here. So let's uh, check out how well this is built because uh, componentry is really good. A lot of this is made up of uh, pressed steel casing. So the top here, that's... Uh, that could even be a, no, I think that's a steel, yeah, steel casing. Uh, the wings in, in feed and out feed are both uh, pressed steel. But one of the great things about the deluxe features on the uh, Sherwood range of thicknesses is this table here is granite and it has a little more, considerably more weight than, uh, say, a, a, a aluminium or a steel fold of pressed steel. So, therefore, it gives you... Uh, uh, more firm pressure down on wherever you're mounting this. Um, here we have the start-stop button, pretty self-explanatory. 
uh, has a safety switch, bang, in case you want to turn it off. These uh, flick up like that, that's easy. Here we have the, uh, the depth gauge, so it, it allows us to see at what height we're at. Uh, as we put our stock through, we can then uh, adjust down and we've got a pretty good idea of where the height we've got to uh, take our material down to is. Now over here we have some presets, so we can actually uh, dial it into a certain height that we want to uh, get our stock down. These are, I suppose, uh, prescribed heights. They're not exactly the height measurement you may need, but uh, it gives you a, a little bit of an op option as far as setting uh, to a designated height in case that's what you want to work toward. And here we have the outfeed, uh, your power cord, and um, that's all hunky-dory, pretty self-explanatory. Once again, this uh, folds up, folds down. So let's uh, now move into the next stage. Just want to show you, this is a, a, a true spiral head, as you can see. Uh, it's the inserts go in a spiral formation. And this uh, is supposed to be for greater uh, cutting quality. So your cuts are at a higher standard than, say, with a uh, straight blade or even the segmented uh, carbide inserts on a different model. Um, and they're supposed to keep the noise down as well. So we'll go through that as we give it a bit of a test run, but uh, this is looking brilliant. Uh, so this is one you can save up for, and uh, I think it's well worth the investment. This is also the way we interchange the tips with our uh, spanner, our uh, special tool here. So basically all you're doing is you're going to uh, come along Probably make a, a texture mark to sh identify where you're at to start and merely put that in, turn it anti-clockwise and spin it around. And the great thing is we have four turns here. So we've got four corners and um, apparently this is supposed to give you nearly a lifetime of, uh, you know, as long as you don't thrash it, uh, it should look after you for a long, long, long time before any full sets of blades need to be replaced. So that's how it works. Um, once you've uh, done all that, merely uh, place your uh, cover, your safety cover back in the place here. So once you've completed that task, you have a space here, put your Allen key, it tucks into there. Beautiful. Next thing we want to do is undo these two screws here. There's one on either side. This is for your dust chute. Good to go. There's also four holes on the base and I'd recommend uh, securing it down with a couple of tech screws. Okay, we're all set up. I've got a, I found an attachment, so the dust collection is uh, all set up, ready to go. Got this nice bit of uh, jarrah, I'll show you up front. So it's a little bit rough. Uh, we'll give it the first cut and see how we go. Wow, that's all I can say, wow. Not only is it a lot quieter than the other one I have, um, but <laughs> that's as smooth as you could want to have. You probably only need a light sand, I'll show you. So here's the other side. See, that's got a little bit of rough. Uh, and on this side, we see it's absolutely it's nice and dead smooth. Looking great. So there you have it. It's a little bit of a, a setup. I know people in Australia are looking toward getting one of these. If you haven't seen how they work or how easy they are to set up out of the box, 
Uh, hopefully this video has helped you a little bit in making that decision. So thanks for watching. Hit the old uh, subscribe if you like. And for more content on Sumo's projects, uh, uh, probably every fortnight I have a video out on uh, a build or some reviews such as this. So thanks guys. Boo-boo.